Okay, uh, we have been in this mine once before. We did a lot of research on it. Uh, Mr. Vox, he is heading on in. Uh, that's not his best side. And uh, we don't really have a date after a lot of research on when this mine really opened, but it did operate for a period of time during the 1920s. And then sometime in the 40s, it was turned into a bootleg uh, coal mine, coal truck mine. So you can see Mr. Box, he's already going in. So anyway, this was the huge opening. And they had an ad hoc hoist system back there. Mostly, a lot of these coal truck mines, these guys were invented, they would actually use the rear wheel chassis of a truck and that's what they would uh, pull the little coal mine cars out by running the engine up in reverse or forward and the cable would bring the uh, it would bring the mine cars up and of course uh, this is a little little spur line it was made into like a little truck road and the old rail bed is that uh, once the rail bed went out of service the rail line they used the rail bed as a route to get the uh, coal trucks out of here. But anyway, uh, so this operated, I guess, three different times, the latest being in the 40s. So anyway, we're gonna, Mr. Box is already going in and we're going to go on in in just a second. Okay, we're back in this mine. We visited quite a while back. And uh, we're just going to chase out a few things and see where, uh, see where it leads. Especially some of these long, long work headers right here. But uh, definitely check out going down to the bottom. Uh, and always in these mines you're going to run into uh, a flooded section. But... Uh, See what uh, looks like a little further down. Okay, uh, just coming on down the slope here, and there's another blocked entry to my right. So that's a uh, another work header. You see a little bit of remains of uh, some wooden timber supports back in there. And of course, we got the coal seam here. And this will head straight on down uh, for good ways uh, until it hits the water. So, and you can see one of the interesting things, you know, fossil remains everywhere. Uh, remains of a petrified tree, plant life, right there. Okay, just had to clear a little bit of that fallen shale right there. Way up there. Get the coal seam here. Range of little wooden timber support. And you've got this work header here that uh, cuts off to the left of the little slope right here. So, and, uh, this will keep going down. You can see there's uh, part of the uh, little rail cross ties there. All right. And we'll see about clearing that video and some more. And you can see all the uh, plant life right there. Right there. History there. It's a rich coal seam. So okay, head on further down. Okay, well you can hear that water running from my uh, deep inside this mine here. And uh so 
got a uh, pipe right here not sure if that could have been a small water pipeline but it works its way off into that uh, work header there and uh, you get the uh, little cross ties for the minecart rails and uh, so we're gonna try to clear that right there of course that's another work header and we're just gonna clear that right there see what that looks like for a minute come back we'll probably check this out over here so okay okay this right here is the flooded section of the mine can't go any further right here so and you've got some little adits back over there so we'll work our way back up check out a couple of these work headers here okay okay this is one of the uh, work headers right here still see the remains of wooden timber support See, they've got that blocked up right there. So it's as far as we would go right here. It's hard to say how far that header goes, but this will be about as far as we need to go right here. So we'll start working away on back and then back up the uh, slope there. Okay, Mr. Box, it went off to the left down there. And, uh, gonna go check out this uh, left passageway above him. And, see it just keeps going on into the darkness right there so Okay, uh, venturing a little bit further back in this work head. We're not going to go too much further, but there we go. Nice section of tramway rail right there. That's, I think, that's really the first good section that we've seen in this mine. And, uh, oh wow, electrical line. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's a good section of tramway rail. It's kind of standard for these coal mines uh, that size rail and of course this just keeps heading on back so anyway 
that's pretty neat this this will keep going too we don't really don't know how far but it's a it looks a long way so and you can see this little ad if they were working so okay Okay, uh, we came back up the slope and went into uh, this other work header. I can see it's just an added. They just dug out right there. Yeah, I did come down this way. If you notice right here, because I didn't notice it until I came down, you've got a brace in the. Oh, I didn't see right that. Here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Uh, what do we have? Soul of the miners. Interesting. That is really old. Okay. Okay, we're going to wind this on up. This was just a uh, side trip. We wanted to see, uh, check out uh, some more of these old work headers. And uh, get a feel for the size of it. And uh, of course, information is pretty scant on this old mine. Uh, just got some operating dates. But uh, anyway, it went down for, oh, it could have gone down for five, six hundred feet. I mean, it's hard to say. Probably no more than that. Since it, it was turned into a bootleg truck mine. But, uh, but anyway, did find insulators, electrical lines, pieces of tramway rail. So, but uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and just wind this one on up. This was just a little side trip we wanted to take back in here and take a better look at it so anyway well that's a good good little trip back in here to see this mine so all right and uh now we got to slither on out of this baby so okay and that'll do it for a little trip into this old bootleg mine